Last night, of course, was winners coming. We had a 60-minute draw with Brian Danielson and Hangman Page. And, you know, you can always find somebody who's going to complain about something on the Internet. I was actually stunned that we had people complaining about the match last night. But, you know, when you get something for free on television, damn it, I want what I want. Don't give me a draw. I actually heard some of that here today, but we're going to largely ignore the stupidity. It was a great match. Obviously, we're building to a no-time-limit match down the road, which uh, I'm sure will be as good or better, arguably better, because this was the first match they ever had together, and the way they built the matchup, there's still a lot of things that they could do to play off this match in the second match. So if I had to guess, I would say that the rematch actually is not going to go more than an hour. I think they will bill it as a no-time-limit match, but it would go closer to... 40, 42 minutes, and then actually give us a finish with the Hangman beating Brian Danielson. But I thought the match was was fantastic. The show itself, you know, yesterday we were going over the lineup, and I pointed out we got four matches. And because we have four matches, that leaves a lot of time, I said, for some other stuff to happen on the show. And in fact, it didn't, because the championship match went an hour and if you count the introductions and everything like that, that, that whole segment went like an hour and ten minutes. And then they had their three other matches and no debuts, which um, I expected a debut. But if you actually go back and you listen to what Tony Khan said about debuts, he actually said, not necessarily tonight, meaning winter is coming. Because, in fact, there weren't any so I guess some debuts will be happening next week. The Briscoes, I presume, will be there at any time. But overall, a a just a fantastic edition of AEW Dynamite. And now I have to miss next week's shows. So you're going to be in charge of covering the debuts next week, Mike. I'll be quite happy with that, especially if the Briscoes happen to show up after those lights go out and they come back on again. But uh, that was perfect. People are going to complain about everything. I don't. I don't really care about that. But uh, when it gets right down to it, Adam Page is the AEW champion, brand new young guy starting out in this business, a, a new star on the wrestling scene for the most part. Yeah, Ring of Honor fans, New Japan, all that. Yeah, yeah. But still, on this type of landscape, here he is, representing your company, and it wasn't a case where Brian Danielson had him in the label lock. Going off the air, this kid struggling, and and Brian Danielson was this close. Nope. The champion was rallying. He was looking good. And this young guy had this old guy on the ropes. They had him down, and if he had a little bit more time, he would have finished him off. But because of who Brian Danielson is, all he's got to do is say, no, you wouldn't. I would have reversed it. I would have kicked out. Whatever. Let's go. 90 minutes. That's what they would have did in the old days if this was... You know, Ric Flair and Barry Windham, you can't do that now. I wouldn't even dare advertise that now. I wouldn't even necessarily say do an unlimited main event. I don't even think you have to do that. Just another 60 minutes. Just another championship match. Just another chance for both of those guys to get at each other. And I thought the presentation of it, I thought it was fantastic. And I thought it was a really good night. And it shows that you can do a limited amount of matches if what you're doing Obviously, it helps to have a guy like Brian Danielson there, but you can have limited matches. But as long as they mean something, great. Sheeta and, and uh, Serena Deeb was another great example of that later on in a completely different way. But I thought that was a spectacular match, and I think Brian Danielson is a spectacular wrestler. And while we keep heaping praise on him for how great that match was, Adam Page for 60 minutes hung in there and was great. So... I am only looking forward to to seeing more. Bro, you got to advertise the next match as no time limit. That's fair. I'm, I'm okay with it. I don't think you have to, but I'm great well, with I th- it. Here's why I think you have to. Because the one thing about the match that was amazing last night is if you watched the match, and it, it doesn't really count for me because I knew what happened before I watched the show, but they, were, they started slow. And once you passed the 30-minute mark and you start to get to the 40-minute mark, I mean... You know, I would think that you should be clued in at this point that this match is going an hour. But if you actually watched the fans... Honestly, you could have said that leading off the show. The fact that it led off the show, I think, well, tipped that off too. a lot of old fans to go, that hey, too. I know what's happening here. But the fact of the matter is, if you watched the match, I mean, the fans kept getting mad when they kept hearing the time calls. 
But they didn't like give up on the match because they thought that it was going to go to a draw. They were into every single one of those near falls in the last minute or two. They're telling they're, they're, there's one minute left, and the fans are going nuts. And he goes out there for the like they thought that he might win at 59, 58. But when they went to the draw, the fans booed mightily. Because they wanted a finish. And the fans booed, and they chanted five more minutes. And to me, when you have that reaction from your audience, it's no big deal to do it one time. You have to train your audience that every now and then you can actually have a 60-minute draw. But you need to then tell the audience, if we do this again, you're not going to get a 60-minute draw. So you don't have to go more than 60 minutes. But I do believe that it must be advertised. If these men wrestle again... You will get a winner one way or the other. We already know they're not going to do a DQ. We already know. I mean, I don't think anyone thinks they're going to do a count out. But they have told us on multiple occasions that they will do draws. So I think that after a 60-minute draw, it is very important to tell the fans, especially on pay-per-view. Because, listen, if you were watching this show and you didn't like a draw, like, you're welcome to not like the draw. But, brother, it was free on television. It was free. The worst you had to put up with was some commercials. You didn't pay one cent for this match. So don't complain about a draw to me. Now, if you pay 50 bucks and you're buying a pay-per-view, if this were on the last, if this were on full gear and they went to a 60-minute draw, I, I would have been fine with it, but I can understand a lot of fans wouldn't be fine with it because they pay their money for finishes. That's what AEW has taught them. You pay your money, you're going to get a finish. So I do believe if this runs on pay-per-view, they need to advertise no time limit. There must be a winner. And I think they I, will. I don't even think it's an argument. They're going to do it. But One fall to a finish. That's all you got to say. You know, And that's <laughs> people complaining about this. How can you even give him any oxygen to, to let him Cable do it? Cable isn't to... free. Get out of here, you idiots. Get <laughs> out of here. I mean, why even give that the type of oxygen? Because it was a... It's pro wrestling. You're going to have draws. You're going to have DQs. You're going to have... You're going to have all sorts of things. Did they give you the art? Did they give you the athleticism? Did they give you the story? Did they have the people in the palm of their hand as they went to the end? Yes. Yes, they did. So what are you really complaining about? What are you really bitching about? What are you really all sorts of butthurt about when it comes to it? Because the, that match wasn't in W. I mean, does it really? Is this really about the fact that you didn't get a finish or a winner? I, I tend to doubt it. I think those things are probably just propped up there for the people that want to bitch, moan, and complain about the fact that AEW did something and their favorite other promotion didn't. Should also know that if you're uh, if you're complaining that Hangman looked bad or whatever, bad. Uh, you know, I have I have uh, heard over the last two and a half years. <laughs> Who said he looked so bad? many examples? Well, it's his first defense, and he couldn't beat the guy. I heard oh, a lot of that this morning. Jesus Christ! But listen, everybody, listen. <laughs> you know how many times I've heard folks on the internet tell me that somebody was ruined, somebody was doomed, somebody was like it was all over. Blah blah. It never happened. Not one nope. time. The hangman is going to be all right. He had the match won. Yes, that's the whole point. What I said earlier on, that you, your champion, the AEW champion, this young guy was about to put the finishing touches on Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson, period. Everybody who's got that other opinion, shut up. It is Wrestling Observer Live today. I'm Oreo the Orca. Do you have a blowhole rating system? Like, if you're really excited about a match, it gives you yeah, this, six squirts. This match was was uh, two and three-quarter holes, if you must know. So I was watching this show, and they had a bunch of videos for this Liv Morgan about how, oh, my whole life I've been a wrestling fan. Oh, I'm going to win my first title ever. There's children cheering and going, oh, oh, oh. you know what I'm saying? Okay. I do indeed. <laughs> hey, Danhausen, can you hear us? Yes, can you hear Danhausen? Hey! Hey, look at that holy hey. mother of god look what we've done here you broke a leg is that true uh it was broken in half snapped in two the doctor said it was a tibia and a fibula uh i'm a whale and not a doctor but is it not a fibula and not a fibula a fibula what i know perhaps what? the doctor lied to dan Housen. you know dan Housen, if you were a whale you wouldn't have broken your leg this is true because whales don't have legs what did you grow up watching as a little evil man? Kane ripping off the door. 
when he debuted. Yes. How old were you, Dan Helsen, when that match took place? Oh, about, uh, what was that, 1997, so about 700 years old. Oh. Also, one time Dan Housen had Dolph Ziggler's theme song as his alarm, and it went off in class. <laughs> no, he didn't. Yes, it's true. Dan Housen likes Dolph Ziggler. You like Dolph Ziggler? He's good matches. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.